Today's presenters are Iris Yuan, Product Line Manager at IBM, and Sharaf Darugala, VP of Partner Engineering at LucidWorks. Thank you both for joining us. We will get started with Iris. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Iris. I manage partners and products across our commerce portfolio at IBM Commerce's um, technology ecosystem. Um, so to start, I guess I'll give a bit of an intro about our partnership with LucidWorks and how that ties into our Great New Partner program. So our partnership really stems from this open, validated technology ecosystem we have where ISVs and partners can validate and integrate on top of our e-commerce platform, Web3 Commerce. And for those who don't know, Web3 Commerce allows you to deliver kind of a complete omni-channel shopping experience, um, get that adaptable and responsive um, shopping experience to mobile, social, and store, um, along with out-of-the-box functionality. So as part of our ecosystem, anyone can really come in and build on top of Web3 Commerce um, to you know, extend and plug into its functionality. And then they then work with us to validate and certify what they've built, and this is exactly what LucidWorks has done, and to gain access to build new connections within our partner program, either with each other or co-marketing that paves the way for sales enablement. So if you have more questions about that, you can feel free to email me. I'm sure this deck will be made available after this call, and this will be recorded. Um, so to kind of go more into depth with what LucidWorks has done with What's Your Commerce, they've really extended our commerce platform with a complete search solution. Um, and this way, you can you know, take the core What's Your Commerce capabilities, but also use a complete site search to drive conversions and create more personalized shopping experience with scalable and responsive. Um, and of course, with that, it includes capturing user activity and tying app and network performance to actual business results. Um, and this way, you can really drive positive data-driven business outcomes. So Sarat will speak more to this, but with LucidWorks Fusion in particular, you can use advanced recommendations, signal features, um, and signal processing. Um, so Sarat, feel free to take it from here. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Iris. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sharad Jarugula. I've been with LucidWorks for the last four years, and over the last four years, I have managed engineering product, and now I'm focusing on uh, expanding our par partner ecosystem. In this role, I established partnerships with uh, companies like IBM, uh, our big data platform vendors, NoSQL vendors, and enterprise products, so we can uh, deliver the search and analytics platform that we have built to all these platforms and give the advantage to our customers. So LucidWorks, uh, we, are, we are the search guys. So a quick intro about ourselves. Uh, we invest quite a bit in solar, uh, completely from product and engineering point of view. We have the uh, product roadmap and most of the releases for Lucid Solar open source project. Uh, we also have a significant investment from our engineering team. Uh, almost a third of our uh, the solar committers work with us. And uh, we commit uh, a lot of new features, performance enhancement, scalability, and, uh, uh, and uh, more advanced functionality like uh, distributed, uh, distributed analytics that are coming into solar uh, comes from our team. And we also actually sponsored Lucene Solar Revolution. It's actually coming up in a couple of months. Uh, if you haven't signed up for it, uh, we encourage you to sign up. It, it, it's a great forum to meet all things search and all things e-commerce, and you can hear and learn from your uh, peers as well. And we, over the, over the last uh, uh, few years, as part of uh, uh, Lucid Works, uh, we here learn uh, quite a bit from our customers. So 90% of our Fortune 500 user, uh, customers use solar, and uh, uh, they, are, they actually have been. Uh, there are multiple use cases, especially uh, I, uh, and more importantly, e-commerce has been one of the most prominent use cases where solar has been adopted. And it has become a standard for enterprise search. Like if you think of enterprise search, solar is the first one that everyone look, looks for. And, uh, uh, and e-commerce uh, uh, platforms have adopted it uh, completely. So if you are actually interacting with any e-commerce experience across the board, most probably you are actually touch, uh, uh, using solar. So uh, you're, whether it's uh, starting from Walmart, Best Buy to uh, Sears and uh, uh, eBay, uh, or Apple, so you are, you are actually interacting with, the sol with solar or, of our, uh, or our commercial product, LucidWorks Fusion. And most of the other e-commerce platforms, in addition to IBM WebSphere Commerce, also already embed solar. So IBM WebSphere Commerce, if you are using it, the search functionality that comes from IBM Commerce solution is from solar. So as a company, we support all these uh, partners and customers and community 
and we enable them through uh, training and uh, uh, engineering and services and, uh, and also support subscription. But more important, we actually learn quite a bit from this community and uh, customers on what are the gaps and fun features and functionalities that they are actually looking to add to solar. And we, are, we, have, we invest some of that into open source, but we also created a commercial product called Lucidworks Fusion. Uh, this brings a lot of additional functionality on top of solar. Uh, so you are actually, uh, and it, number one point that w what we focused on is how can we make it easier for you to maintain deploy, scale, and monitor your solar cluster. So we, we have done that very, uh, very well with our Lucidworks Fusion product. Uh, everything is driven through the simple administration console. We really don't need to invest a lot of in, uh, engineering effort to maintain it. On top of that, now we, we added a lot of uh, super rich features that would take a lot of effort from your uh, engineering teams uh, to, to make it a reality. So essentially, uh, the colors and connectors, uh, we, we ship over 75 connectors out of box. It's a scalable framework, and we we, we embed. Uh, we actually have a security framework that supports most of the security configurations and servers out there out of box. And we have uh, data enrichment, machine learning recommendation features built into the product. So most of this is all driven by configuration as well. Uh, yeah, and but when you actually deploy and maintain all these uh, all these features, one of the key functionalities that you need to focus. And where there are a lot of uh, where we receive a lot of feedback from our customers is the challenge in maintaining the relevancy. So we build a lot of relevancy tuning uh, functionalities or administration tools that will help you to maintain and uh, continue to uh, improve your relevancy of the system. And of course, we have a out of box web your commerce integration, which is the main focus of this uh, webinar. So for the rest of the webinar, I, foc uh, I want to focus on these four uh, key pieces of uh, 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 investments that every e-commerce vendor should uh, in invest in. So uh, if you want to actually deliver the right customer experience, the, the first thing is you want to actually focus on your content and queries. So there is some information that we learn to research and uh, also from customer feedback. I'd like to share some of that and uh, give some inputs on how we can improve that, uh, improve your content. Whether it's, your, whether it's product catalog or user, uh, or user and product, uh, product description that you are receiving from the manuals, or from the social and, uh, uh, and user feedback that you receive uh, through the, through, from across the web. And the next step is, how do I continue to enrich this content? So it's OK that you get the uh, information for, in the form of a, a product catalog or product information, but the uh, key is to be able to add much more powerful metadata, much more powerful tagging to be able to distinguish yourself and to provide much better experience to your users. We'll talk about some of those functionalities. But, uh, but content uh, and user inputs are going to take you only so far. Uh, we, you want to now learn from users. That is becoming the key, uh, uh, key advantage for every e-commerce vendor. And that's the distinction uh, that you actually can offer because these days, uh, there is no, uh, basically product is pretty much on parity if you are going from one website to the other website. The way you can actually now look at it is how can I capture all the information that I can about my users, their preferences, uh, whether it's an implicit feedback or an explicit feedback, and use that information as a competitive advantage. How can I learn that, uh, do data analysis on top of it, or use that information to deliver contextual recommendations. So when you look at the recommendations uh, delivered in context, and, uh, uh, and delivered right, you can actually provide an overall uh, improved user experience. And, and also we have seen customers re reporting back that they are seeing much better conversion rates as well. And also they are seeing much better improvements in overall uh, the, the uh, cart size as well. So you are in increasing the, the, the way you want to increase not just the user experience, but also the business metrics that you, we all focus on which is revenue and uh, the and, uh, cost size and uh, the conversion rates, you can improve them if you, if you focus on these four key areas. So let's delve into each one of them in more depth. Right? So when you look at optimizing the content and query, uh, recently, uh, Baymart Research performed an exhaustive re uh, uh, study uh, on e-commerce usability. And they actually did this across the top 50 e-commerce vendors uh, by volume and revenue. The, the report actually provides a lot of uh, insights about user behavior and how they are actually interacting with your e-commerce properties, whether it is web, uh, social, or uh, mobile commerce, that uh, IBM commerce, or most of the commerce. Uh, uh, now, if you are actually a commerce vendor, you have to have 
all these all these three channels to be able to sell you our products, right? So that's the uh, so we are actually uh, the, the the feedback from the uh, from the report is that uh, the users actually are not browsing anymore. So you know based on the uh, the consumer behavior and the changes in user uh, taste and uh, uh, and the way they are interacting with their devices, uh, people are more in, uh, more uh, more prone to actually just start their interaction, the first interaction with you with with a search. So uh, that's a very interesting uh, uh, input uh, that we received from this uh, research. And uh, now you, we are, we are, and also this research summarizes the all the different types of user interactions with your uh, with your commerce. Uh, commerce platforms into 12 query types. So uh, if you really look at it, uh, it's very hard to imagine anything that goes beyond these top 12 uh, query types that your users can interact with your, uh, with your commerce platform. And any site that actually wants to provide a good experience, uh, for, uh, uh, good experience and uh, also uh, have the, the kind of uh, the response times and, uh, and also uh, uh, finding the products when the users are looking for. Uh, they, if you support these two, you are actually uh, doing very well. But actually the feedback from the research is that even the top 50 e-commerce sites, uh, uh, most of them hardly can support uh, a partial set of these uh, top 12 query, uh, query types. So uh, our advice is uh, whenever we talk to our e-commerce customers, we, uh, we help them understand these uh, different query types, we work with them, there, there is a lot of this you could actually accomplish with right out of box e-commerce platform, uh, uh, sphere commerce. There, there are some that we actually can uh, help you with and work with you to actually add more info, uh, more functionality to uh, to Lucid Works Fusion function, uh, product. Uh, we, we actually summarized all of the five key findings from this uh, report into a white paper. I encourage you to download the white paper and uh, go through this. And this is this is going to be a uh, very insightful reading for you as well uh, to understand all the different query types and how you want to deliver the such experience for those queries. Uh, and the, uh, if you really look at the uh, the way people uh, users are interacting and the effectiveness of your um, uh, your response to user queries, or a third of most of these e-commerce sites and vendors are not able to respond back with the right product uh, to uh, to user queries. And, we have, and most of the, more than 70% of them actually fail if uh, users don't conform to what your product catalog information or product in index information looks like, right? So uh, it, it's kind of com completely contradictory where your site is, you are expecting your users to modify their behavior and their experience to, uh, to fit into your product catalog or how you actually organize your search. Whereas it should be the other way around. You need to be able to fine tune your experience and your uh, user experience based on who the user is, and that exactly is the missing gap. Uh, and let's take a look at uh, why that is happening. Right. So the, the users actually have been improving their overall expectations of um, uh, of how uh, uh, how a site should respond or how a mobile application should respond. They actually uh, they then assumed. Uh, uh, implicit expectation that when they look for something, they would find it, and if they don't find it, they expect that they basically make a conclusion that uh, you don't carry the product anymore, and that's a that's a big loss because uh, because the users are not going to come back to to your site or to your, are not going to look at your mobile app anymore uh, if you're actually not able to surface the right product at the right time, uh, and also you, most of the users are expecting. A much more simple uh, search experience. Uh, they want to see the product, right product as they type, and they want to see the uh, the adoption of uh, uh, the product surface uh, uh, along with a lot of uh, helpful information for them to complete the research. And uh, uh, essentially, that's all uh, that they learned from Google and uh, Microsoft uh, uh, consumer search experience. So they are, they actually are to, to some extent spoiled by the richness of the search results and search experience that the consumer search provides, and they expect the same from you as well. And if you don't deliver it, then you, know, you are actually going to miss a lot of uh, opportunity to convert those uh, visitors to your site into a, uh, a, into a customer. Uh, let's take the, I want to just cover not all 12, but uh, some, of the, uh, some of the key uh, types of uh, user queries. Uh, so you get a flavor of what you uh, what you should expect and how you uh, how you should think about fine tuning your overall search experience. So one of the most common ones is exact search. This is the 
age-old copy-paste uh, way of customers interacting with it. They find a product somewhere, they, they are actually reading a report or, uh, or they are looking at uh, some other uh, article and they, uh, they copy-paste the exact product name. So if you, don't, if you cannot uh, respond back with the right product information, then they know that you, you don't carry this product. So it's very important to, be, for, to actually or not only organize your content, but also make sure that your queries are actually able to support these special characters and you are able to uh, handle uh, 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 spelling errors or uh, slight mistakes or uh, when they copy paste something, there will be some uh, extra characters uh, or special characters that will be pasted into your search box. So you want to be able to handle all of those things very well. So uh, IBM Commerce uh, uh, does a great job of this already, and we have invested a little bit more to extend that functionality so you can take advantage of both of those uh, features uh, uh, with the integrated solution. And another, uh, more, another common uh, 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 search type is the product type. So this is very similar to in real life. I'm actually walking into a store and actually looking at a, an uh, aisle, product aisle, uh, before I actually know what products I'm looking for. Uh, so uh, here I'm uh, searching for something very generic like uh, uh, sandals, shoes, uh, uh, shirts, and then uh, I want to be able to see the, not just a, a bunch of uh, 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 search results, but I want to be able to provide. I want the system to be able to provide a way to navigate and find the right information within one or two clicks. So that means you want to be able to. Uh, analyze the input uh, uh, as they type and provide some suggestions of categories and suggestions of uh, right products that you have learned that resonated well when people are searching for these type of uh, general product type searches. Um, and, uh, and once their users become a little bit more sophisticated, they are not going to look for uh, general product, they are actually going to ask for feature-based information, like I'm, I actually want a red shirt or I want, I want a, uh, I want a denim, uh, denim of this color, or I want a uh, espresso machine uh, uh, that actually can make coffee uh, uh, by this size. So essentially, I'm actually looking for the different types of features to qualify my product search. And that, that means you need to be able to focus a lot on the product attributes. The, so you, uh, uh, we are now seeing customers not only just depending on the product catalog that they receive from the manufacturer, but they are also going into the user manuals. They are looking at outside of anything that the product catalog provides to be able to add all those attributes to the uh, to the index. So that 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 would also, that would actually enable you to uh, identify the product and uh, deliver the uh, product result, even though that information is not out, uh, available as part of the product catalog. So, and the manufacturers are actually learning this as well. So you, you should be able to demand your vendors and manufacturers to give you the type of feature, uh, all the features and information about the features to, uh, uh, to be able to store that information and let your uh, search platform analyze that, uh, the, those details well uh, before you actually, uh, uh, before the results are delivered to the user. Uh, uh, subjective search is very interesting because uh, uh, this information is not available in your catalog, so now you are moving beyond your standard catalog-based data or, or the information that you are able to index out of whatever you could do with you as a company or uh, from your partners uh, that, that, they are de that they are delivering the content to you, right? So uh, this is very uh, subjective and uh, you are actually trying to understand and interpret the user's intent and looking for the opinion of the user. So I want to actually look for a high quality why not? I actually want to look for a uh, four season tent. Uh, so these are the kind of things that people are looking for, and this is not going to be available in your catalog. So you actually want to look for outside of your catalog. Go to the user reviews. Go to uh, different types of forums and uh, look into the social uh, discussions. And capture all of that data and then ingest back, that back and tag that information as part of the uh, product catalog. So this is again uh, something that is not going to be done one time. You need to continue to uh, uh, monitor this, continue to optimize this, and this is a uh, this is a cyclical process that you want to con uh, you want to invest in and make sure that the platform that you choose supports this. And we actually, uh, as part of LucidWorks Fusion, we built a lot of tools that will enable you to uh, continue to monitor and continue to uh, enhance your catalog through our pipelines and uh, you know, and incremental indexing as well. Uh, implement, uh, implicit search is the key. This is actually becoming mainstream now with uh, 
uh, Google and Microsoft, uh, you are not going to uh, 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 type in all the details. You are just going to ask for one simple thing, but expect that the application knows a lot about me as a user. So you want to, that means you want, you want to be able to understand all the different uh, available env environmental data. Uh, you want to be able to understand all the user information from their past history to their preferences, uh, their session details, and use, uh, use that information to refine the query. So this is where the query expansion and the much more sophisticated uh, query analysis is important. Uh, and based on that, you are not only just delivering the search results, you also want to deliver uh, some of the suggestions uh, and recommendations so you, you are not dependent, you are not just hoping that the results are going to address uh, what the user is looking for, but you actually are uh, 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 helping user to uh, look beyond what uh, just the search results and, uh, and also help them learn a lot, of, uh, a lot as well as part of the search results here. And the, the, one of the hardest ones is natural language support. So this is where uh, uh, the, the evolution of search is going for going. And uh, if you are familiar with Siri and Google now uh, and Microsoft, uh, Cortana, uh, uh, all of these are actually bringing the natural language processing to the users. And users are now expecting that similar experience from your applications as well. So you want to uh, start thinking about it. Uh, it, uh, it it's, as, as I said, this is not something simple, but you want to actually have the uh, platform ready for it. And as you scale and as you start understanding your users and as you analyze your users, uh, uh, user interactions with your websites, you need to be able to support all of these, uh, uh, support natural language processing uh, uh, at some point of time. We expect natural language processing to be uh, mainstream in e-commerce for probably in a year or two, uh, and we are actually building all the tools and the uh, functionality required within our platform uh, to be able to make it much more simpler for you when uh, to be able to configure it. But today, you can actually use the platform uh, uh, because we, are, we have the extensibility to drop in uh, your taxonomies and add your NLP capability with the existing product. It's, uh, if you are a sophisticated customer, and you have a sophisticated products and user base, you can start with that right away as well. The, uh, and at yeah, the conclusion of this uh, uh, research, uh, there are quite few uh, insights. I mean, uh, we are talking about the top 50 e-commerce sites in US and uh, Europe. And you, as you can see here, uh, more, more, more than half of them are not actually uh, returning uh, uh, right search results if you are asking anything beyond basic keyword matching. So that's actually not very good, uh, 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 even for the top uh, e-commerce sites. So uh, you want to be able to uh, address this uh, to, uh, to avoid the same problems uh, and uh, uh, reach out to us, reach out to IBM Commerce team. Uh, we would be more than happy to uh, help you with uh, optimizing this and uh, try to get you to uh, more green across all different types of uh, uh, query types. So I got my content, I got my queries, and I actually optimized my system for queries. What next, right? So am I done? Uh, one of the things that we actually found is your system needs a continual improvement process. We are seeing this not only at e-commerce, we are also seeing this across multiple verticals and multiple industries where you, the, uh, you, there is new content coming in. So the, the content is not static anymore. Your catalog information is not static anymore. So you actually continue to receive new information, new data, and you want to be able to continue to add additional uh, uh, metadata and in enrich that information at the indexing time. So we actually have both uh, 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 full-time indexing as well as incremental indexing that helps you to optimize your uh, uh, specific parts of your product catalog data to be changing at rapid pace uh, through our uh, index time enrichment. And of course, query modification and result manipulation is very key. Uh, because that's the only way you can analyze your uh, user's intention. That's the only way you can respond back to your users. And uh, uh, by result manipulation, that's the only way you can personalize the search results based on your, who the user is and the type of user and the, where they are actually coming from. So we, when you look at LucidWorks uh, functionality, uh, we actually implemented something called LucidWorks Fusion Pipelines. Uh, this is uh, a completely configurable out-of-box functionality. We ship a lot of stages. Uh, we learned a lot from our customers, uh, and this is all available for you to uh, configure as an administrator. Uh, and you can set up multiple stages within one pipeline, both for indexing and querying, 
and uh, uh, and uh, essentially at the content side you are you are enriching your content as you are indexing it as you are learning from your user interaction with that content on the query side you are expanding your queries and breaking it apart and trying to add more uh, more additional information and query across different types of content or the, or two different queries within within the content uh, collate, uh, collate all that those results and deliver it back to the user so this is a very important step and uh, we have invested quite a bit with this this uh, and this all works seamlessly with IBM commerce so if you all, uh, you already have your uh, key index uh, already maintained in IBM commerce but you can still continue to invest in and mo modify these uh, uh, apply these query pipelines directly from uh, from the uh, Lucidworks Fusion Administration Console. Uh, so uh, again, moving more towards the uh, dynamic nature of business these days, uh, having static reports is not any more good. Even though you are able to generate reports on an hourly basis, they are they are as good as uh, 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 scale data that you that uh, that that is not going to provide you any uh, any value instantly to make uh, changes to your business. So we we invested a, quite a bit in building real time analytics. So this allows you to not only analyze uh, how the search and search uh, experience is being um, received by your user, but, uh, as well as analyze your product catalog and product catalog gaps in product catalogs or ga gaps in product itself. Uh, we also actually enabled this to, for your marketing managers and merchandising managers or your data analysts to be able to try and dice this information, get more uh, powerful insights about uh, uh, different segmentations of users and uh, uh, so you can target uh, the application much, uh, much more specifically. Uh, no matter how well the dashboards are, uh, you still uh, need uh, uh, investment of time to actually go into the application, which is actually going to be a, a big gap uh, if you want to uh, run an effective real-time uh, commerce experience. So we, we built uh, a proactive alerts, so essentially, now you can uh, track uh, certain events, or you can track certain patterns or exceptions, and get notified uh, and uh, launch into the product and fine tune it. So you can actually respond back to users looking for a particular uh, one product, or users responding back to a tweet from a celebrity, or responding back to an event, uh, and make sure that you have the product available or you have the, the search uh, search experience uh, delivered right to those users. So now I understood the, all the uh, analytics and real-time analytics. Uh, why, why, how do I now take to uh, look at the user interactions, right? So when you think of signal, it's everything that you can capture about users is what we consider as a signal. So whether it is a simple thing like your user logging into your application or launching your application, uh, browsing through, selecting some things, or uh, performing searches, or interacting with your about you or with you through social media. Uh, are doing specific uh, activities like ratings and uh, uh, searches, or even looking up uh, directions on, uh, uh, to reach to your uh, uh, physical location. All of this could be a, sig uh, a signal, and we actually uh, uh, build the application to uh, take all this information uh, from the external sources and convert that data, uh, uh, that raw data that you have, you, have, you captured from uh, different applications into a signal that that we can use uh, with our uh, with Lucidworks uh, uh, Fusion platform. So uh, yeah, there are a lot of different signals, but uh, the way we actually uh, uh, help you with tools is we actually have a signals framework that allows you to integrate all of the data. We actually have customers now using up to terabytes worth of data from that they captured from uh, from over years uh, based on all the user interactions and user events. And now uh, using that information uh, to run algorithms within our own platform to aggregate signals. So once you have the aggregated data, now you can apply it for organic search, uh, search improvements. You can you know, use that for search solutions. You can use, for, uh, use it for recommendations. Or you can use it for uh, informing your uh, marketing and merchandising managers to notify uh, what areas they need to focus and how to improve overall uh, overall uh, uh, experience for your customers. Uh, and of course, we, we have partnerships with all Hadoop vendors and NoSQL vendors. So if you have data anywhere in these uh, platforms as well, we can take that information, integrate that into Lucidworks Fusion, and make it available for you to perform powerful analysis of those signals. 
So when you, uh, uh, as, a, as a simple example here, as a uh, marketing manager, I can come in and look for different devices users are looking at and uh, the, what are the different events that the, the users are performing over the last 30 days or last five minutes. And, uh, uh, and, and also drill down all the way to a specific uh, event as well. So I'm not just looking at overall patterns, overall, uh, 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 overall dashboard uh, level information. From there, I can actually drill down all the way to one particular event or one particular, um, uh, one particular user and their experience as well. So essentially, here we took search approach. So these are search-driven real-time analytics. We can search within these dashboards as well to identify and look for uh, specific events or spe uh, specific patterns. Once you have all these signals uh, uh, captured and managed in, uh, in uh, LucidWorks uh, uh, platform, uh, we, now we can actually develop recommendations. I, developing predictive recommendations is not an easy job, so we actually invested quite a bit to take all the outside signals that you have um, and rebuild some of the machine learning algorithms uh, 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 to be able to configure from simple administration, uh, from uh, LucidWorks Fusion, Fusion administra Administration Console. So, uh, and we also are now using the Apache Spark and uh, they're, they're delivering a lot of machine learning uh, algorithms out of it. So uh, they, we are taking advantage of most, more modern technologies and, uh, and uh, enhancements and improvements that are coming through, especially performance improvements that are coming through from uh, Spark platform. Uh, with the, the result of all of this is now you can actually deliver a completely curated experience uh, to your users, irrespective of what device and how they are actually coming to interacting with you. But uh, we, you can now integrate the organic search results. You can integrate your rules-driven manual uh, uh, changes or manual manipulation of your search results, all integrated into uh, automated curation that we can do with machine learning. So the, when the user actually sees it, it, it looks like a simple search experience to the user, but there is a lot of science and a lot of uh, 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 re-ranking and uh, re-sorting of search results going on to make sure that there is an effective search result that, uh, that we deliver to the user and uh, make sure that we actually uh, have the user get to that next step of taking the next action, whether it's actually reviewing the product or adding the product to the shopping cart or completing the checkout process. Some of the popular recommendations we have seen, uh, and, uh, and also this is very uh, uh, very well known from uh, the experience that you have from Netflix and Amazon is product to product recommendation. So I'm actually looking at a product and I want to see all the related products that actually had better ex uh, response or better, uh, uh, better conversion rates with my customers. And I also, uh, there is also uh, query to query recommendation. So if I'm searching for a particular query, if there is a better way to navigate your user to find a, a similar query that, has, that will have better success uh, uh, scenario, you want to promote that. And there is also product to query recommendations. You want to actually look at, uh, when I'm looking at a particular product, you can actually look at what are the different types of queries that they actually had better success rate. So with this, you are, also, uh, you are not only just focusing on uh, determining the results, you are actually focusing on how to educate your user and uh, help them make uh, smarter choices. And, uh, and with that, you are actually establishing a lot of trust, and the trust always turns into a better uh, relationship with the customers and, uh, the, and overall better conversion rates as well. So when we looked at IBM Commerce, we, we, we actually have several customers that are, that, that are using IBM Commerce and they, that we actually reached out to us and, uh, and, and wanted to extend some of the features that we've discussed so far. So we did the, uh, uh, we worked with IBM team uh, to integrate uh, uh, LucidWorks Fusion with IBM Commerce Platform. So uh, uh, in this case, we, you are actually not required to make any changes to your IBM deployment, or IBM configuration, or even to the solar configuration of IBM itself. So we actually overlay on top of IBM Commerce Platform uh, and uh, deliver, you, deliver all the additional features that you see here with LucidWorks Fusion. Uh, right off of the IBM Commerce experience. So, uh, as a as a uh, as a vendor, your investment is uh, very little in terms of changing your existing uh, deployment uh, or uh, changing your uh, or there, and even there is very little engineering uh, investment as well. 
So the, in order to enable the up, uh, integration and in, uh, in order to take advantage of signals, take advantage of recommendations, taking advantage of uh, enrichment of your content, all you need to do is follow these four steps. Uh, download the, we actually built a uh, specific IBM Commerce plugin jar. Download it from our website. Uh, modify the solar config XML to point to this website and make sure that it can load the the the, the jars. And uh, uh, you are, uh, and then import the uh, from Lucidworks Fusion Administration Console. Import the solar collection from Web Commerce. Commerce. That, those are the three steps, and you have completed already the integration with Lucidworks Fusion, and you can now start. Uh, Directing the search queries through uh, Fusion uh, Fusion Query APIs and uh, start taking advantage of all these features. And if you don't have a existing signals and you want to take advantage of signals that uh, uh, and you want to capture signals in real time uh, uh, through Lucidverse Fusion framework, then you just need to configure Snowflow to, uh, with your e-commerce uh, platform and we capture uh, natively capture all the user interactions, use that information as signals and perform uh, uh, aggregations and deliver recommendations uh, to your website. So those are the key things that I wanted to run through in terms of slideware. Now let's, look, uh, let's see how, uh, how this all plays out in real time um, as part of the uh, search experience. So what you are seeing here is a website built on top of IBM Commerce. This is the uh, simple catalog uh, that actually has multiple categories and a lot of uh, uh, product information here, and I, I actually came to this website. And I'm searching for something uh, very uh, uh, generic like shoes. So when I do that, as you can see, the product. Uh, this is a product type search. It's only not only suggesting keywords to me, but it also is suggesting category and also showing some of the history as well. So this is one of the ways that you want to make sure that you deliver this experience to your customers uh, for to match the product type uh, search experience. So let's say I search for shoes here. And, I, and you see a, a specific type of uh, different types of shoes uh, displayed in my search results based on the overall my, uh, the, the content that, that I have and the, based on the product catalog. And the, the search results is actually being delivered through Fusion API. So uh, let's see how that's happening. I'm logging into Lucidworks Fusion Administration Console. Well, as soon as I log in, you can see all the collections that are being created by, uh, uh, by, by uh, collections that you are maintaining and managing within Lucidworks Fusion. Right now, I have only two collections. One of the collection is uh, the, uh, the replica of uh, uh, my, uh, your web, WebSphere Commerce uh, solar collection. So uh, as soon as I come in here, this is the administration view, and I can actually see the search results right off of the, uh, from the administration point of view as well. So I'm just searching for shoes here. And these results here are exact replica of what you are seeing on, on the uh, Commerce website as well. So I don't have the images displayed here, but you can easily do that as well. Uh, so uh, as an administrator, I came to the site, I looked for uh, the shoes, and I know the type of experience that we are delivering to the, uh, to the customer. And uh, let me go back here. And now, uh, uh, as a user now, I want to actually uh, click on a particular uh, product. So I'm actually selecting these shoes, and I like these shoes uh, that I'm seeing on the, uh, on the website. And I, I just selected the, the, the product. And I also want to add this to the shopping cart. So I actually uh, I want, uh, I selected the size, colors, uh, uh, and then added it to the card. So essentially what I'm doing here is, as a user, I'm interacting with your application. I express my intent of liking one uh, I, uh, intent of trying to buy shoes, and I actually uh, uh, selected a shoe and uh, added that to the shopping cart. And I also want to see other types of shoes as well. So I'm trying to mimic how your end users are actually uh, looking at uh, your product catalog and your search experience. So once I, I have this information, but now if I go back to the admin view, I'm actually looking at the, uh, at the signal uh, dashboard here. So this is capturing in real time uh, the data, uh, the user interaction data, and, up, uh, and updating that information in real time. So you can see here I have, uh, there are 10 uh, uh, events for add to cart and 35 events for click. But if I just refresh this, there are 38 clicks that happened, so there are three different clicks that I have performed in the last uh, uh, two minutes. 
and there are also there is also one additional add to cart. So I'm actually you can actually look at the real time interaction of your websites uh, through these uh, dashboards, and this is a powerful way to give the, this uh, this information to your merchandising managers, marketing managers, data scientists, and analysts, so they can uh, they can now track uh, the last five minutes to last two minutes uh, type of uh, user interaction data, and uh, and make some decisive. Uh, steps to improve the overall experience, uh, overall experience and overall conversion as well. So, uh, I, and I can also look for uh, specific information. So, I'm actually looking at uh, a click activity here, and you can see that uh, when I select a particular product, all the information that is being captured by LucidWorks Fusion and stored this information in LucidWorks Fusion uh, 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 source. So, you, you're not again. This is there is no changes to the IBM Webspace Commerce. There are, there are no changes to your overall commerce uh, configuration and deployment. You are now, uh, but we actually captured all the user interaction and stored that in Fusion. Now we can use the, all of this information to, uh, to go back to the uh, Fusion Administration Console and change uh, uh, now uh, how, how would these search results look like if I actually infuse machine learning algorithms into organic search results itself. So uh, one of the things that I was explaining earlier is we implemented quite a bit on query pipeline. So we created some of the query pipelines uh, before. Uh, the, this query pipeline actually is a simple uh, uh, direct solar query to take the solar query and query param params and uh, get the search results back to you along with facets. So there is nothing uh, fancy here. Uh, this is pretty much a uh, uh, strike through solar query uh, from uh, from fusion, but if I'm actually looking at uh, a different pipeline, I actually now take the query and all the data uh, that you are passing along with the query, and uh, take the roll up of aggregator uh, aggregation information, apply that aggregator uh, aggregation data to advance uh, you know, some level of boosting on top of whatever the natural. Uh, ranking and scoring that I received from my solar uh, search results, and then return the search results back. So essentially, now I'm actually uh, infusing my machine learning from, uh, capability into my organic search results, and uh, he helping my customers to uh, helping uh, users to see much better uh, uh, feedback or much better functionality. So let me go into uh, signals collection. So we actually create. Uh, uh, system collections for every collection that you create as a, uh, to maintain this uh, maintain your search index, and as part of this system collection, uh, I actually have now all the signals here, and I'm just running a simple aggregation. You can see that three events have been uh, captured and aggregated, and now the the job aggregation job is finished in real time. So in in a real production environment, you would you wouldn't be doing this. You would be probably setting up a a regular aggregation uh, uh, cycle uh, every hour or every day or every uh, every minute depending on your uh, requirements and uh, capture all the signals that you are uh, that you are receiving from your uh, different commerce devices and commerce uh, uh, properties and apply that information to uh, uh, add uh, more powerful uh, more pow powerful uh, uh, ranking system so now uh, going back to the uh, uh, going back to the uh, the original uh, WebSphere Commerce uh, product catalog content, now I want to change the profile from a simple default to uh, where I'm actually using the standard uh, pipeline to use uh, my recommendations pipeline. So I just updated the data, and uh, uh, so and uh, when I update uh, a query uh, query profile, I'm actually doing this in real time. So the next time the user comes in. Who matches this type of query profile would get the new search results, and uh, and when you think of query profiles, think of it as user profiles. So you can create multiple query profiles that actually uh, target based on your, tar your target users, whether it's depending on demographic or the infographic uh, or uh, the geographic information or their preferences or previous search history or uh, the previous conversion history, or the data that you have about them from your retail store as well, physical retail store as well. So you can take all of those things and create specific user profiles. Uh, so when the user comes to the same site, performs the same query, depending on the different types of users, you can actually navigate uh, uh, different uh, query uh, profiles 
and get different types of personalized search experience to the users. So now let's go back to the, uh, uh, to the site. And if I am a the user coming after the first user, and if I search for shoes, you can see that these two shoes actually now got elevated over the rest of the search results. And this is happening in real time, and this is happening without any manual intervention. You are not setting any rules. You are not making any modifications to your catalog content. And, uh, and you are able to now deliver more fine-tuned experience for the next user or next set of users based on what you learned from the previous users. And, uh, and this is a, a simple extension of how you can add more value to all the uh, configuration you have set in your IBM Commerce platform uh, and all the configuration that you have set for solar optimization and all the configuration that you have set to do that the, with the IBM uh, Commerce platform as well as Fusion platform. Right. Uh, So that's that's the uh, that's one of the uh, uh, demo scenarios I wanted to run uh, by uh, uh, as part of this webinar to give you a glimpse of what you actually can accomplish. Right? So if you really look at it, the the type of uh, the the powerful features that we walked you through right now is real-time analytics, real-time signal capture of your your user interactions, and your ability to uh, slice and dice and analyze those uh, user interactions in real time as well and take that information to, the, uh, to optimize your search experience both organically, as, or you can actually take the same information and provide more specific recommendations as well. So you could actually now, uh, when the user selects a particular document or particular shoe, you can show the user that uh, these are the related uh, recommended products uh, that the other customers have viewed or customers have purchased or customers have added to their shopping cart. So all of these features are now natively available with the integration, and you can uh, you can deploy all of these uh, as part of your uh, integrated solution right out of box. And one one last thing that I wanted to leave you with is uh, uh, the additional features that we, that we are bringing on top of uh, what we just discussed. Right. So uh, now, if you are if you actually want to go to the next step of data science and data analysis, you want to actually analyze the uh, what type of queries are resonating well with what what products are resonating well with what type of queries. Right. So you could actually do this analysis through LucidWorks Fusion product. Uh, by uh, where you can understand different types of users and their sessions, and within their session, what type of products are they selecting, and eventually what type of products are actually being meeting your goals of uh, whether it's a conversion or a click. And, uh, and you can see, the, 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 like in, in this case, this session actually navigated to multiple products and multiple sessions uh, through one, within one session, but ended up being uh, ended up selecting one product or uh, ended up buying one product. So this type of analysis, graph analysis, is very powerful when you want to analyze the path of user uh, user interaction with your site uh, and uh, analyze uh, how that's actually uh, converting into something of business value to you. And how uh, once you understand this, now you can go back to LucidWorks Fusion and apply different types of profiles and apply well, modify the different types of uh, uh, aggregation uh, uh, parameters to drive the uh, to drive users to get to that those products fast. So the so this basically brings you to a, a complete circle where you are not only just taking the data and ingesting it into IBM Commerce, but continuing to evolve it uh, through content. Uh, your better understanding of content, your better understanding of your your users, and automate this entire process so your e-commerce site becomes self-breathing, self-learning application. With that, uh, I think I pretty much ran through all the things that I wanted to cover in this webinar. Uh, Alia? Thank you. So we will now begin the Q&A portion of the session. Um, again, if we don't have time to get to your question today, someone from the LucidWorks team will reach out to you to help you out. So the first question we have is, how do you handle constant indexing in a real-time environment, and does Fusion support this? Yeah, yeah. So we actually, uh, Solar actually has uh, something called near real-time index uh, uh, indexing, 
and Fusion makes uh, the take uh, takes advantage of that. And you can now see, uh, even though you are actually getting the, uh, whether it is actually your product catalog data or product information itself, or, uh, or as I showed you in the demo, uh, if, you, uh, if it's actually the uh, user signals information, we can take that uh, data and in real time index that, and the index stays within your, uh, uh, in, within your memory, so you can actually, even though your data comes in, with, like we actually have the latency of less than probably a second or two now, before you actually get the get your product new product information in, and before it actually shows up in search results. And if you actually configure your uh, Lucidworks Fusion uh, properly, you really don't need to do anything. You actually just get these products in, and we will know uh, what type of uh, content needs to go through uh, real time uh, to need to be available for real time search and what type of product needs to go into batch indexing, and we can take care of that based on uh, how, you, uh, how you configure Lucidworks Fusion. Great. Next question is, if I have a lot of business rules to manage relevance, how does the recommendation engine integrate with my existing rules? Okay. So you, you know, when you actually create, when you create uh, different business rules, you, you actually have an option of brute force uh, elevation of content or products. So those products always show up at the top. But then if you have any of these business rules that actually match a particular criteria, and if, you're, if the user query hits that criteria, we will, we will take the results of organic search results and the rules-driven search results, and then add the, the machine learning uh, 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 boosting on top of that. So we are actually preserving the, uh, your rules and your, uh, the search results uh, because of the rules, and we are also taking the organic search results and applying the boosting on top of that. So, uh, so, uh, so that actually, uh, there, there is some, uh, uh, some, back, uh, some uh, challenges in that in, if, if you actually want to um, uh, if you want to uh, make specific changes to only certain product set, but you can scale the boost range of recommendations, and that automatically uh, is, that that allows you to define whether you want to include the rules-driven search results into your uh, re, uh, into your organic recommendations, or you want to avoid that as well. So you can you have the option to configure it that way, and uh, Lucidworks APIs will allow you to uh, integrate uh, depending on uh, your business requirement. Thank you. The next question is, does the recommendation engine use application logs for data? If so, how does it impact edge caching of search and browse results? Example, Akamai. So that's a good point. So you, the, the CDN technology actually has come and uh, uh, has been really uh, uh, sophisticated these days. So uh, there, there are several mechanisms within CDN um, you know, products that you can take advantage of. I know there is a, the something called application caching uh, and ap application acceleration. There are a lot of companies uh, the, uh, out there that actually helps you to uh, uh, evaluate if there is actually a newer set of uh, data and uh, refresh that. Uh, even though the, uh, even though the uh, the edge information is actually relatively fresh, but you are actually trying to constantly look to the application and look to mimic the user interactions and uh, cache all of that information. So we have seen more users take advantage of CDN, uh, uh, the power of CDN and power of application acceleration products uh, to 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 drive the uh, to keep up with the. Uh, real-time indexing and real-time uh, changes that are happening with your e-commerce application to deliver through the edge nodes as well. You can, uh, if whoever has this question, I'd be more than happy to set up some time and we can discuss more in depth and uh, uh, see how we can solve that problem. So we actually have worked with some uh, really large customers uh, where we not only are taking uh, the, we're not only just focusing on the search results, we're actually working with their entire uh, set up to drive the real-time changes, uh, especially I, I, this use case is actually uh, the, uh, these days 
your product catalog information could be relatively stable, but you're actually, your pricing information is changing really fast. We have seen customers change the pricing information based on, uh, within seconds, uh, based on the competitive information or the, or the feedback that they are receiving from uh, different, uh, different uh, pricing optimization applications. Uh, and uh, in order to be able to deliver that in real time, we actually work with some customers, so we'd be more than happy to work with you and discuss in more, more depth how we can solve it. Thank you. This will be the last question. How do you capture signals? Is this a real-time process? How do you then create personal recommendations based on those profiles? Right. As uh, we covered part of that in the demo, so we do capture uh, real-time signals through uh, our native APIs, and we store that information in the in the solar cluster that we actually have with uh, uh, with LucidWorks Fusion. And we are using Snowplow for uh, 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 Snowplow JS Tracker to actually capture the events that are happening on your commerce platform. Uh, and once we have that information, the aggregation could be done in uh, uh, in relatively non-real-time mode. So you actually want to uh, you you, don't, you you obviously do not want to uh, run the aggregations uh, every minute or every second because that's going to tax your systems quite a bit. So uh, we can take the data that will be captured through our signals API that we have stored in our collection in, in the in the system collections in our LucidWorks Fusion product and apply aggregation algorithms on top of that. Now, uh, and if you are using a, a specific profile where you actually want to include uh, the uh, the aggregation uh, value to boost your overall search results, or you want to promote those products as specific recommendations for a given search experience, you can do that using the APIs that we, uh, we ship with the product. So uh, in, in this case, the work that you need to do is uh, 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 basically configure the Snowflow JS tracker on your commerce site and uh, uh, configure your uh, uh, aggregations from administration console uh, uh, as shown here uh, and uh, applications from uh, as shown here and then uh, you are good to go I and mean, uh, then you are, it's all about what kind of uh, integration of, uh, what kind of uh, experience you want to deliver through the integration of APIs you can take the APIs and make that part of this organic search results or you want to deliver that as a search solution as users are typing in or you want to deliver that as a product recommendation uh, when users select uh, 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 when users are actually looking at a product or when they are looking at search, a set of search results. Great, if you have, yeah. uh, if you have, I'm sorry, uh, Alia, I just wanted to expand on that. Uh, if you have the signals coming from a external system, we can uh, again uh, we are taking the same approach for external systems as well. So. We, uh, we, can, we have real-time streaming of signals as well, so we can take, uh, we, we can have Spark streaming or uh, uh, Storm to get the data in real time from your external system into our solar collection, and uh, and uh, then run the aggregations on top of that. So whether you are getting the, uh, the user uh, events from our uh, native APIs, or you are getting it from uh, from external systems, we can do, we can take the real time data very well, and we have proven that at scale at several customers, and we would be happy to talk to you about that in more detail. Great. So we are just about out of time. Um, we just want to let everyone know that anyone who registered for this webinar will receive a link to the recording. Um, also, if we did not get have time to answer your question, um, please look out for a note from someone on the LucidWorks team. Thanks again, and thank you Iris and Sharaf for presenting, and we hope everyone enjoyed the webinar.